My watercolor paintings is watercolor pen and ink. And I use the water from the Tennessee River. It's symbolic of the flow, the peace, and unity of that neighborhood. Francis Tate grew up in one of the oldest communities in Decatur, a community that was bustling with activity during segregated times. The old towns integrated 200 years ago. We stayed right next to white, Lebanese, Jews. We all stayed in the same community. We played together every day, but they went over to this school and we went over to this school. But they would come back every afternoon and play together. In old town, we had our own restaurants. We had our own movie theater. We had our doctors, lawyers, dentists. We had, every, we had service stations. Everything in Old Town. After a career in the telephone industry, Frances pursued the arts. But what is unique, she never had any formal training until decades later. It's been a wonderful journey. And to think at what, 60 some years old, learn to art. Each work of art recreates a bygone era that she says is worth the effort to paint. This is something we can leave for future generations and they will know what wonderful black business that was in Old Town. And if they did it back in the 40s and 50s, why can't they do it now? Artist and historian Francis Tate, preserving the legacy of a proud community with each stroke of a brush celebrating the history and impact of African Americans in the Tennessee Valley. Dave Brazelton, Way 31 News. And you can see this entire interview online at our website, waytv.com. All you have to do is click on our news section, then scroll down to our special Black History Month section.